competitors, but fierce ones deserving of where they are today. Well, no more than a few months ago, Crew was on this very pitch to do what seemed like a difficult task, and unfortunately they went against Secret that looked very impressive, very much like the side that could not have been stopped. They had continued that the entirety of winter. They were stopped no more than a few moments ago, but center stage crew and exceed a goal already to crew just like that we've been here before cannot <laughs> stop saying enough because that's the stakes at hand here it is one best of seven one spot to go through and two teams who desperately want to be there and as much as they both desperately want to be there danny crew already continuing their run of form against exceed just glancing back briefly a go to that Winter Cup. Crew ended up winning it with a sweep against Exceed and here we are on the turf already a goal away of Crew. Madness to presume that you win one of those three regionals. Open Cup or the Invitational and you might not get to the event itself in the Major. Well, that is one goal by Exceed here, who's doing the utmost task here, who came out of nowhere, as you rightly said, the put crew in that difficult spot of not being there. Well, Exceed has certainly put that ball in a difficult spot for the defence as well. Crew simply had no response to that fierce shot it was from Exceed, and already we are levelled here in game one as Drops does find this ball to the corner, a swift follow from Drafinho as well and crew we know to be such a controlling side when they get that tempo just right so so you played the legs of secret earlier in the winter split itself as well and it was a fabulous couple of series they had crew likewise too you just look at it and you just fancy <laughs> which one of these two deserve it arguably both do and this best of seven will settle the score but the crossbar will be sore after that one rattles the woodwork another attempt perhaps no will be the answer for now and as this ball gets cleared it's also going to be a little alleviation of that pressure from crew as they try to counter attack here that demo did certainly get in the way but exceed back on the counter a strong touch maybe a double touch set up as well but it's off its mark it's straight into the corner and that opportunity it's few and far between and they didn't get it right that time opportunities might come once maybe twice in each game that's a decent save here Davo trucks are there in this split here had a slightly confess the love for the player here played absolutely fabulous number of saves I think it was nine one particular one and that was just to keep it close and eventually to win that particular game to set up arguably a decent grand final but that was in the semi mind you and do you know what? Davatrox was off the line there, beaten away here, half tape, and it's already poised quite nicely for an upset. It absolutely is, Danny, and there is absolutely no getting away from the fact that Davitrox has transformed this Exceed roster. He, joining this side for the winter split, has made a world of a difference and arguably could have been a large reason why Exceed are having their current successes, but nonetheless, they have very strong competitors in this here game as Drafinho. Works the ball to the corner, but it's not going to show its fruits straight away as Crew try and solidify this attack. That demo is ruthless, but the finish isn't there to follow. Mind the gap. One post, two post. Knocks away. Jorfinho this time around goes past the defender. Second touch here, so it's a 1v whoever would like to go for it for Crew. And unfortunately, they leave it to the last possible second off their own back wall. Madness are there. We saw in the grand final a big mistake of the side. The play through the middle here. Not costly at all just yet here. But Brad leaving. And there's a lot of respect on the pitch here. I hate to say this. But I don't like it. I want more aggression. And maybe Drafinho can do exactly this. And that little, little bit of space that he was offered in field here. He's managed to stick it through right over the top of KNS Danny. And that might be exactly what you were asking for. Crew last time around in this situation. Bless them, they were putting everything into it. Blood, sweat, 
Unfortunately, their souls just could not get over the line. And sometimes you wonder when they were going to push for it. Eventually, this time around here at the second chance. A big moment like that, the lead 2-1 here. Lessons have been learnt from the past here, but the problem is the different opponent in the form of Exceed here. Different play style will make life difficult. Likewise, a secret done beforehand, but that's a big mistake there. But upfield Whoa. it goes, and Derfinio sets it up oh. nicely. Oh, and it wasn't tucked away on this occasion as crew keep hunting forwards. This touch is going to weave its way central, but Davitrox ready to collect, and he's up in the air already, causing havoc, causing a threat, and it's more so than that. It's not just a threat. It is a firm reminder as Exceed equalise. You shake of the heads. Crew fans have been here before. Don't want to be harboring, but unfortunately a highlighter point that needed to have been made multiple times in a crew have let it slip twice now. Exceed here will fancy that this game is theirs. They love it when it's close. They love it when it's tight here because they know they oh. can bounce on the opportunities and a wayward shot. Woeful by the standards of crew here, but a defensive duty required. That's been done. But here, it's not done yet. OT already in game one. And Davitrox up this wall. He's got a lot of space to think about. Now he forges this attack, it's going to bounce down in front of the goal line and Klaus is there to follow forwards, exceed with an absolute stormer of a response and Crew Esports left wondering what went wrong. Thank you. Danny. We saw a grand final, that was a classic. We just saw how game one just ended there. Oh. This might be a tricky affair here where the quality might arguably drop a little bit here due to the nerves, due to what's on stakes here. Mm. And unfortunately for Crew, experience counts. And if you cannot learn from the past here, because unfortunately, we were here before. I was in the booth exactly at this moment here watching Crew. <laughs> My eyes do not lie. I've just saw what happened there. And unfortunately, I fear for them here, Seiko. This might be a repeat of history here. It certainly could. And that game one has been a disaster for a crew team which had so much control in game one. But the question is, how do they fight back after that initial loss exceed? They seem to struggle to get into the game, I think it's fair to say. But if there's one thing that we've learnt about the Succeed side. It's that certainly in recent times, they have so much drive, so much hunger to win. They have been in this exact, well, not this precise situation before, but they've been in in times and places where nerves are at an all-time high. They've shown us they're worth plenty of times before. And these situations here will feel Almost like you cannot make a mistake. Everybody is looking at you, and rightly so. The entire esports will be looking at these two sets of teams here. Europe had its own attempt at a tiebreaker. Sam's been here before. And yet again, Crew having the play, almost with the chip on their shoulders here, already trailing in the series here. They've aggressed a little bit further here getting a few attempts on target here, but you've got to ask what has got to be different here. Well, so far it's very early doors and many things to be changed in terms of the setting of this match itself. And Klaus is going to run over to the other side here to perhaps change the tone of the pace of this game. And Davitrox, that was a very interesting way to one away. Crew Esports may be left sleeping here. Well, it was a demo that wide open there, and yes, maybe caught napping. Awareness is such a key attribute, as you rightly know, Seiko, what you need to do. Especially if you've ever been in a world championship, you have been. You know what it's like having pressure on a stage as well. Crew would love to get there. They desperately want to get there, but Exceed is pulling a secret. That's the only way this could be described as. Definitely so, and Drafinio is going to cut inside. Surely 
this one's tucked away and it is it's bar down for crew as brad with such a strong 50 not just once but twice to feed that one in field and Drafinio, there was no way he is missing that i wouldn't say that psycho <laughs> not in a tiebreaker anything is missable well you speak truth danny Unfortunately for Crew, they were able to crucially convert to equalize early on in this game. But Davatrox is going to come hunting maybe for an early response. Brad already downfield, skips, hops forward, seven boosts to his name though. So we can only do with retreating back here. Close, nice touch here. Vital block here by Brad. And that one just spilling. It's hovering around the middle. And Xe just sits there and just say, hold your positions. Not the right time to make the play just yet. Double commit downfield. And there once more, alas, Logan third man to recycle the play, perhaps. And he's done well as well. It's at the halfway line at this point. And Crew Esports are going to drive forwards as much as their heart so desires. That's the amount of space they're being left with right here. 100 boost for the shot as well. It's blocked away. Maybe the follow-up from Brad can do some damage. And the third not quite wanting to risk throwing themselves in the play there. Maybe rightfully so in that situation. That's a big question. And when do you risk it? That's a big save as well. You just look at these fine moments here. And when you look back here through hindsight, you just go, oh, I wish I'd done it there. Oh, I wish I'd done that instead. Unfortunately, you don't get a chance oh. to rewind time. But crew forward advances with their second goal. And what a way it was. It was downfield. The infield ball slotted towards Drafinho and an immediate counter-attack from Crew proved so deadly right there and it exceeds now. They need to show what they did in game one again, but is that performance repeatable? That's a question, Psycho. If you don't mind, I'm going to duck behind the sofa and not answer <laughs> if that's okay with you. Uh... Uh, I'll let it slide this time around. I think it's fair to say we can't make judgments too early on. That's a nice demo from Exceed as they work forward to block at the front post of Crew, and they're going to try to hustle this ball out. What a save that is from Crew! Somehow Exceed not equalising there. A millimeters of difference here, and that is a shot in oh. a half. Crew is playing with fire. They do not know when they are being burnt. Their skin is peeling off here, but they are still intact here. Their defense holds for now. Singed tone left on this series maybe as a response. And Klaus works this ball over to the corner. Crew trying to slow down the play. Just that small bit as now they've established that control. They're trying to find the shape that's going to give them that longevity. In this game too, another shot might find its way through, but still complete freedom for Crew to play their game. Continue playing this particular style of game. It will wonder when the adaptations will come through, when the time will be calling through. The grand final earlier was spoiling too much here. That was a mighty question here, as this one will be wondering when the pass will come in. It'll go solo. It will be drops to have a go, but the follow oh. through too strong and exceed have been caught napping. And drops on the ceiling for such a strong 50. Right back central, Drafinio chasing forwards as that second man hungry to convert, not just retain their lead, and it certainly paid dividends. Tango, these situations here. You just are glad to see Crew come back into it. You just had that sense here. Is this going to be that history we're repeating? I thought so myself here. This feels much more tighter, much more closer than the secret tiebreaker no more than a few months ago oh. that we were alluding to. But exceed, exceed, what? What is this finish from Klaus? I think it's caused quite some mayhem there is still 12 seconds left on the clock exceed maybe in with a last ditch chance they've done it once before in that game one as Klaus chips this one high there's not going to be an immediate follow-up and as these seconds tick down it's just maybe one last attack as KNS works forward but 
simply blocks away and exceeds surely out of steam now. Hold on a second, if that's kept up and well it's a fabulous own goal sadly won't be accounted for in terms uh. of the score sheet. Um, <laughs> this is a series here that you look at and you just go right. I want you to not, you just take a deep breath here, because if you're one of the players or the coaching staff, you probably are the most calmest out of everybody, Psycho, because you can do something about it. We cannot, and that's the worst thing about it, because you just want to <laughs> will a shot in or block uh. them to throw it into it. But my word, the crew, about time they showed up, about time they had that comeback. But that last replay that you just saw there, that is a big red flag in my eyes. Caught napping with a two-goal advantage with the clock somewhat allowing their cop position to come back. That is deeply worrying. Yeah, maybe so. And it's certainly going to be uh, joyful signs for Exceed because even though it looked as if Crew was starting to find a little bit more of that rhythm that we may have been referencing early, earlier, Danny, Exceed, they still had it in them to create. They still had it in them to have that sort of spark of ingenuity to work forwards and be positive thinking in their play. Exceed is such a positive side, just generally speaking. Honestly, it's one of the things that they do best as a side. And moving forwards to the rest of the se series, Danny, I think it's very much fair to say this is anyone's game. Really hope so. Leading crew fans, however, will not like that statement. And crew playing all right defensively from the kickoff here. That's a loose <gasps> ball, but that's been done before. <laughs> we saw Brad going flying. We saw Brad earlier sitting on the floor. The only thing what we haven't seen is Brad defending that one. When will they learn? When will they learn that their actions have consequences? That one didn't have a consequence. Very fortunately, as exceed almost leaving off exactly where that previous game did. Does exceed. Tries to dribble this one forwards. A solo player's done well to beat one, but Drafino straight back into the opposite corner. KNS now taking on his next pick. It's already challenged away. Exceed, though, in such good shape to work this ball forwards and really showing of their capabilities. Drafino blocked. Brad will have options, and he's just went for what Seiko would have a cheeky smile if you can see our comms with an Irish <laughs> downfield or the punt as I like to refer to it as. It was straight to the back wall, sent with a message of continuing with pressure with a bit of distance keeping of course here to the back line and crew. Well they've just played smartly there because they've just caught Exceed out on their attack. Now let's see how the boost will hold for bite size pieces for each team here. Well, Exceed certainly winning that battle at the moment they seem Firing on all cylinders when it comes to this boost game and also spacing apart for the opportunities. But we're going to have to put those to bed for just about now as crew already working on this counter attack. A booming clearwards forwards from Exceed. Drops already there to throw this one aside and possession just thrown away loosely there. That could be something damaging from Exceed, but blocked away it was there. An artificial flesh wound, no damage, just merely grazed. Another attempt here, coming downfield here, where Crew has to defend here. Flung right down here and the rotation. Well, Davatrox, I'm not saying, is it wrong to be envious? Is it wrong to be envious, Seiko? Because he just got that ball sweetly down, but couldn't find the teammate. That's the only thing that was missing. It certainly was, and maybe there's only one thing missing for Exceed right now, and that could have been a potential follow-up had that 50 gone the wrong way, but... Nothing seems to be going wrong at the moment. Complete solidity, peace and tranquility for both of these sides at the moment. Crew Esports trying to launch their newest attack. Davitrox with a solo play downfield, but still can't work it through. This has been poised as a nice battle. Not just a physicality, not just that mechanical game, but there is brain power being put into it and a technical note or two being expunged and expelled here nice little block it's coming through here drops once more flinging this one up and so back wise in your load dava trucks to go upfield you're asking for trouble here <laughs> i think you're asking for more than trouble you are just asking for straight up concession there as 
That was so close to being tucked away if it wasn't for that last-ditch FXC downfield. A touch, a redirect above the bar. And three orange players here to recover this ball forwards. Drops with a nice flick forwards there, and they keep trying to push forwards with so much pace to the play, but exceed strong to it. And Klaus, this might be open. This could be a free one to put away there, as the camera showed. Maybe a quick lapse in concentration there. Camera showed, and maybe I might differ in the opinion here, but the gap was being closed to the point where the shot wasn't likely, should have, in my opinion, went for the ball. But get the set second, maybe that's just my one's brain kicking in. But thankfully, this is threes. Absolutely so, and plenty of opportunities left. That is not going to be the only one that this side faces so far as this ball is launched very strongly to the corner. Rafinho tries to once again reset the pace, let their side absorb the pressure that Exceed is throwing, and that one is so close to hitting its mark once again. Maybe a secondary opportunity that could and was not put away. Yep, but maybe all these words, no definites. No definites are given at this game here, and Drops looking to forge one of his own off the post. And Exceed giving possession away too cheaply for my like. And it's Davitrox is up, gets the block here downfield. Down it shall go, but up in the air. And the time ticks down to its near mortal state of zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and before I speak too soon and say it's going to overtime, I just had to watch my tongue because that has certainly bitten me once before today. As the unexpected sure does happen sometimes. This. Could be a potential play for Crew, but blocked away quite comfortably there from Exceed. Klaus, he's got an option in field. He's looked to slow play this one forwards and still both sides. You talked about the respect game earlier. There is no respect in this challenge, though, from Drafinio. Downfield against all odds. He's not just won the challenge. He's absolutely crushed it. Oh, you talk about crushed. Davids Rocks, arguably one of the best defenders within the region. And if you disagree with me, tough. Because he is. And he's just got beaten by that. In an overtime, in a major tiebreaker. Exceed had a chance. They didn't take it. Crew does it. That's going to be the difference through the entirety of this series cycle. And Joe Watts here. Small margins here. And Joe... Mm. Drafinho just takes it, and that's what you have to do. You have to have the confidence. You have to go for it. There is nothing that you can do, and being passive is arguably the wrong thing to do. Yeah, maybe so, Danny, but unfortunately, I don't think it was maybe the approach that let Exceed down in that particular game. They had two opportunities, which really could have done with being put away. Just speaking of that wall shot from earlier, which just went left on the woodwork there and that earlier opportunity to just hunt the ball downfield, which wasn't quite slipped into that near post. Exceed, they had plenty of chances, Danny. But like you said, it's the ones that count that certainly make a difference. And for Crew so far, every single thing they have done has looked clinical their direction. Certainly so. And the last time around this tiebreaker scenario was around here in game two. Team Secret won after two minutes and 26 seconds, and that started the what seemed to be the unthinkable task here. That was a 2 0 advantage moving in here. Crew only got one game, that came into the fourth here. Crew has got more games in this tiebreaker than they did the last time around. So they're already statistically much more closer than they have ever been to go to a major. The problem is they haven't got there, but Brad hasn't found oh. the back of the net either. And what a touch that is from KNS. He's got no support, though, to hunt the ball down. Crew straight back on the front foot as this ball pings to the corner. It's seen its fruits earlier on today. Unfortunately, not that time around. Exceed it's looking to work methodically here. Crew hunting as they work this ball in field. Brad blocked away importantly by Klaus there and Exceed given some space to breathe. There is an attempt here, going from the ceiling down, but too close, so the eventual crew defenders should oh. be doing much more. Crew, you have one set of options. 
In fact, there is only one option in that situation, and that's go for the ball. Inviting pressure, inviting Xay to take it. They are not going to say no. Absolutely never, and finally Exceed have seen something in terms of a payoff for their efforts. They haven't been shy of opportunities so far, and that's such a crucial one to put away as Klaus, with a really interesting touch there, keeps this ball upfield, but for how long as KNS gets a touch over to the side, finds a teammate as well, and straight back into the attacking zone. KNS is the closest Exceed player to the ball here, but forced at a horrible angle to play with it, so forcing Exceed to commit two players to the actual play itself here. KNS replaying here. Technically a rule two at the top of Xyz net broken. Don't think either one will be sitting there, so I got, yeah, let's keep to the old traditional rules. Personally, I would, but it's drops with a shot wide. That might be a bit of karma slipping on in for the old rulings. Maybe so, as Drafinio is going to try and slip one in field as well, but already exceed back in numbers at this front post and crew just looking to really just <laughs> concede this stint of possession in favour of some strong work in terms of the positioning game exceed almost punishing exactly that crew downfield counter blocked away by Davitrox who snuck his way in for the last moment there. Rafinho that's a nice setup not a fan however of the continuation half the game going and crew they are searching for an answer. They are searching to get the ball passed here, but Damatrox, difficult man to beat most days, providing even more so tonight here, as there, Klaus with the ball. Upfield it goes, and that's a vital tip by Brad here, but problem again, big problem, is there is no second man to continue the attack, though. Simply no risk wanted to be placed so far. I think it's fair to say both sides may be afraid to put that last final punch in the back of the net as Exceed worked forwards. The bump attempt from KNS almost caught Brad there and scooped him off his own back lines as the counter attack does come forwards. Exceed right back in position to deal with it. Drops. Surely a massive flick here. Brad follows through here. Klaus down the line here. Davitrox. Oh. How much in that moment there, he is saying, please give me Fitney Boost just to have a redirect chance there. It wasn't to be, of course, this time launching downfield here. There is one minute 20 on the clock here at 1-1. One, one, your fancy crew might just take this third game for their own column, but exceed, they're not giving up yet. They're far from over. Certainly so in crew esports. They need to shift up a gear because Exceed looks so, so comfortable only with this one goal advantage. But that almost went incredibly wrong for this blue side if it wasn't for that final player who wraps around there. Brad takes to the skies a player in the corner to aim for the shot comes down. The cannon was certainly filled to the brim with the gun power required, but locked away quite comfortably still. Well, it's how you pack it is the important thing. Unfortunately, the old style muskets aren't used to it here, and that one's been cut out here. The infantry has been arriving, the nick of time here. Will there be enough rations to play on that ball, though? Brad beaten away from a Klaus is around, but so is crew. They're around, but with 20 seconds, clock is against them. Time will not Ooh. wait for them. Another shot right at the keeper. And time waits for no man. This ball needs to find another player in orange as exceed. They have breathed some fresh air downfield. Five seconds left for them to equalize the series overall. Brad keeps this ball high, but only for the time being. Surely it's going to be a very difficult task to keep it alive. And exceed as soon as that first goal was converted, they looked to be the side in control front to back. A perfect game from Exceed. Just taking a moment here because it has been a bookshelf series so far. I do love patterns as well, Seiko. 3 2, going to Exceed, 3 2 to Crew. Nice, it's 1 1 at that point. Oh, funny enough, follows 1 0 by Crew. Now Exceed 1 0. Now we find ourselves at 2 2. I do love these phrases. It was a best of five. 
It's now a best of three, effectively, here as well, too. I know that annoys a few casters in the <laughs> Rocky here. Sorry, gentlemen who's sitting in the back room there. They're probably envious of the series here. Both sides giving it all here. And the quality, slightly that dimmer down from our grand final. But, and this is the big but here, this means more right now to these two players. And it's effectively dictating how they go for the play. Because if you looked and you can watch our VODs on YouTube as well, Seiko, of these particular teams going at it, they'll go for anything. There is no fear. We are seeing that right now in these moments. Absolutely no fear, and there is just no room to think about your situation currently. You just need to really just activate the inner warrior among you to really just get the job done for you on your behalf. Already Crew Esports looking to maybe change a tone or two from that previous game. We saw how difficult it was for them to find those meaningful connections and really drive an attack downfield. Crew Esports really on the back foot immediately in this game number five, Danny. Oh, nice to see a crew taken to that mountain of having that new fear, as you mentioned, the warrior. Well, all six of them has been battling around here, but there might not be enough here. As Crew just gives that ball a little bit too freely here, drops another attempt, high ball here with no boost on effectively everybody else. Exceed should deal with this one. Yeah, and Exceed has actually managed to breathe some space all the way into that final third. Crew Esports didn't have the numbers advantage there to play in their hands, but who cares? about the numbers advantage sometimes all you need is one and as much as drops have flamboyantly done this job so well danny i'm gonna confess even i didn't see that bump coming and neither did i the second time around either well that's all right i'm just sitting there just watching that one it was played beautifully but unfortunately we don't have time to watch in a matter beauty artwork on the wall perhaps here but there will be time to look back through the snapshots here as brad looking to maybe forge a bit of a moment himself here but runs away as david trucks is shot fired at brad sent away by brad and brad wants the ball again greedy perhaps here but he had to go for it and why would you not in that situation as david trucks and kns both looking to make that crucial block they have managed to work the way Upfield here, Klaus just sending this ball long, trying to afford his team some space to push forwards and fill more of that infield territory. And Brad's on the counter, immediately met by an exceed side, which is looking to control this midfield game ever so smoothly. Another shot right at the keeper. Once more here, you've got to be a little bit more of aware. A bit more note to it as Davitrox pass one. That might be a bit free in terms of saying that's past one as drops here. That's getting past one this time around. And Davitrox, he's offended, insulted by the matter. Goes for another oh. one, gets a pass one, went for oh. a bump here. And that one shot right at the heart, right in the heart of the series itself. Exane steps up, takes it and makes crew once again doubt their own invincibility. And Drafinho did absolutely all he could to bury that ball away from the next onslaught of an attack from Exceed. But still, it simply was not good enough. And Exceed, with an immediate response in this game like they have in prior as well. Davitrox is going to hunt this ball downfield. A ceiling pinch to work downfield. And Brad with 100 boost, maybe for a solo player, forced 50 perhaps. But he's looking to slow the play down here. A bump downfield from Crew and a bit more creativity to open up their game. And there's a nice touch here, not happening. Klaus, oh, that's a decent idea here, David Rocks. Just wonder what is next here. There's drops Brad on the opposite side here, but it will be Dafino, the cup, the rotation had to. Wasn't enough space here to play on to it. Another cut has to come out as well too. And these half measured plays here, might not be the right idea here, but it's trying to throw each other off here and it's working well. Yeah, maybe it's a question of which one of these sides is going to take a dangerous risk 
Maybe in the minds of the players. First, Graffinio is lurking in field. He's an absolute menace. This really was one of those situations where you think Davidrox has this covered. It's a simple 50-50. We've seen it before, though, and Crew Esports are simply not letting go. Oh, in these moments here in certain sports, that's describing as pickpocketing the space here. And Brad, that's a shot on target. Klaus has done well here, but another attempt here has to be cautious, exceed here. It's easy to go chasing the game in these moments here, but patience is a virtue sometimes here. They're dealing with it, absorbing the pressure here. About one player with a hundred boost. The rest is too low here to challenge deep down here. So they've got to keep going here until there's enough to make a play. Definitely so. And Crew Esports with a big block there in field. Klaus takes to the skies. He does win that challenge, but Exceed shying away from that follow up. They looking for the worst case outcome potentially there. His downfield is KNS. A booming ball from Brad goes all the way across here. Trofino with a chance to chase this one down. 30 seconds left, a shot ripped forwards, but it's hit the backboard and crew. Such a simple path for them to escape there. Oh, drops, they haven't broken free here yet. Exceed, still putting them firmly within that vice-like grip here. Davatrox, soft, gentle, try to fake Trofino out of the play here. There should be a bump, there is a bump here. So once the clear goes in here, Exceed will have one last roll. One last chance, it's high, no. it's Davatrox, and it's a big save by Brad, but the ball still kept up until that big send down field here, and it's still breathing a chance, a chance at that too. Surely this is done now, but KNS, he did get that first touch, but there wasn't a second and a third to come. They needed to work their way across the entire length of the field, simply an impossibility at that stage of the play and crew esports. 2-1 the final result of that match and we saw that sort of aggressive layer to crew which they just keep in their back pocket they wait very very calmly for the perfect time to deploy it and it was actually Drafinho in field to follow up one of those 50-50s earlier and just that extra level of volatility with the bump we saw from that first goal yes everything exactly right there so far, both sides also have to be credit to how they've been playing. They played very well here. We've just been told that the timeout has happened, called by Exceed, and don't blame them because it has been a tricky situation here. But I do want to put this thought in here, and it's just something that was slightly smiling away while you're going on to, with your point there, Seiko. I think it was a Mourinho uh, story or one from his autobiography in my head there, but when he was coaching Chelsea about a plane moving at each step away the closer they were to the Champions League and lifting the trophy. This case here, Cruz, the closest they've ever been. They're one game away. And Xay calls that time out, and they've got to wait an extra 60 seconds before they even get a chance to maybe have that. Oh, they know how to play the time out well. Can they play the next game better? Well, that's the question for you here. Well, it's not a question that I'm going to answer too confidently, Danny, because I'm sure I'd be proved absolutely wrong. But crew, they showed us they have that extra gear and exceed after this time out. They're going to be sort of calibrating themselves for this game to come. What can they do in the strategical department? How can they adapt their play to overcome such a tall order at the moment in crew? And just reflecting back on exceed and how far they, they've come uh, in this winter split, Danny, I'm not sure this team ever expected to be in this here situation yet they've done it time and time again in the winter open and the winter cup they've proved us wrong before danny can they potentially do so once again that is a very good question in fall they had it a go they tried to fly but unfortunately the wings were clipped through they're flying close to the sun here but will it be an Igris like situation here. They're starting from their own back lines already. They may have had a, a look at the net here. Exceed, on the other hand, demoed and removed. <laughs> Their video gets that one away. There must have been Valgro to his car to make sure that one was stuck to him. Oh, well, it certainly did come in clutch. That was some beautiful control when mattered most and crew downfield. 
with an immediate attack. The way of exceed, 100 boost in the corner, four drops, limited options, so he's slowing the play down. He's making exceed feel uncomfortable. They need this win absolutely because crew on match point right now, they are in control. A touch over to the backboard though, not quite that time around, but crew certainly looking maybe the favorites early on in this game. Lord touch back in the middle, double commit here, but the par behind it will force Klaus to go tight to the wall here. So it will allow Crew to have a secondary attempt here of a defensive restructuring. It will be required, demoed. It will be even required more so with urgency, with pressure, with Klaus at a pass in field here, block to go. We have played a minute in this game six. It has remained goalless. So far, it has been that way, but Surely, there's going to be many a twist left in this tail as downfield. Brad can't quite fetch upon that very optimistic double touch opportunity. As Drops does take this one low, exceed really looking to press here. But Drew Esports, they're very, very sneaky. We've seen them work their way out of a tight spot time and time and again. And well, once earlier on in this game as well, Danny. They have done so. It's been so impressive. Arguably, both sides for making this series what it is here. We've been traded arguably with two classics, one to went to the distance of seven games here. This might do as well here, but, and this is a big but here at Seco. When will the players take that moment by the scruff of the neck here? Because both sides have been guilty of giving a few chances away here. We certainly have, and Crew trying to connect with this infield pass, maybe a shot from drops towards the top left, a crucial save from Exceed, but is in the corner, is Crew and the pre-jump play. You talked about who can take sort of that risk by the scruff of the neck. That pre-jump option was certainly there and they're looking to be so forward thinking, even though they are just one game away from taking this series, potentially they're still approaching with so much aggression, leaving absolutely nothing behind. Well, Brad is there, won't be leaving anything behind here. Downwards ball it has hit the ceiling, so the availability of the ball, the presence of the position, at least a load of block here, and that's a pass in field, and that is an oh opportunity. My. That might be <laughs> Exceeds opening to a game seven decider to go to the major itself. And that interception through to KNS might be one of the most crucial ones that this Exceed side ever does have. Crew Esports, we mentioned their aggression working forwards, leaving nothing behind. They left one thing behind there, and that was a wide open net, Danny. They've all been guilty of doing it. They've also left another important thing as well behind there, Seiko, and that was the ball. Big key object as well in this game. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, Danny? And exceed now, they need to hold on to that hard-earned first goal, but hold on a second. Through eSports, as Drops works this ball infield, there was two demos on the back line. The camera only let me see one of them on the backboard. That is so vicious from Crew. I didn't realize I Alex added a new game mode, and I might try it myself. Synchronized demos. Fabulously constructed, fabulously executed. I think we'll give it 10 out of 10, but unfortunately, Crew might want a second go here. Maybe, perhaps, a second grading on that play as well as Klaus. Let's catch this one. He's got an option to the right. He's fed it through to KNS. The shot tipped up high. Crew Esports maybe in a bit of a pickle here to work forwards, exceed in the driver's seat for this counter response. An infield touch towards KNS. Once again, these connections being formed. They're just hunting round in circles, swimming around their oppositions like the sharks that they are, but simply no big opening for that opportunity so far. Davidsrock's chasing that one down here. He's got the legs to match it, so Klaus upwards and Defidio. Oh, Defidio, <laughs> big, 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 big miss. There will be tears if this one falls on in here. The rest of crew, nick of time, back to deal with the pressure here. They've sent it downfield. 
and you talk about big moments here, that might be a flashback in nightmares for one of these two sides. Backwards ball, and somebody's been sent oh! to the rafters, and crew might have punched their ticket through. 2-1, four seconds left, and sometimes in this game, we ask for miracles, exceed are on their knees, begging for one. They're on their knees, and they need more than just a beg. They need to pull out a miracle with zero seconds left on the clock. Klaus to keep this ball high. There is someone forwards in KNS as this last opportunity. Klaus through the skies, tests that back net. But Crew Esports have actually gone and done it. They have been here before in this exact situation and couldn't make it count. But the team, at the end of the day, Danny, making this winter major is by the name of Crew Esports, and what a showing it was. I do love the conversation that's going around right now in this scene. They're talking about how many major spots there are. These are some of the greatest teams that we've seen, whether by region or by world, whatever your definition is. And we've been treated to two fabulous teams who had to fight it out to get to the major here. Crew had heartache in November. They rise tall in February. What a romantic trip they'll have going to the major, but it will be Exceed who will feel the same pain of crew. They will have at least sympathies to their opposition, but that's as far as it goes, they go. As far as it goes, and it's such a tough game, especially if you look at the sort of story that Exceed has been able to really shove in everyone's face this past month or so, it's fair to say, Danny. Exceed have came out of absolutely nowhere. They had no such luck with their results as they did in this here winter split. That was when they made a difference. And crew, we were wondering when they would be able to show us their full colours. And over these past couple of weeks, they have certainly done that and more And what a deserved situation they have found themselves in, Danny. I'm sitting here and looking at you, sir, going, Joe, what? It's absolutely fabulous what was provided there. And Joe, you know what? You can just sit there and just look at your circle. Wow. That's where the level of the game is, Psycho. And we've been treated to one. We have. And it's a joy to see, Danny. That grand finals earlier on today was showing of some of the capabilities of some talents that haven't reared their heads so far in this split. And I think. For everyone out there who is sort of new to the to the South American landscape here in RLCS, it's so much more than maybe you would first anticipate. You have that sort of top layer of composition, the big names like Team Secret, perhaps, that everyone expects to thrive. But hidden underneath that are so, so many world-challenging teams. Crew and Exceed, both of those, if they were to have their chances at sort of a world contention, in, in the spotlight in front of the entire world, they could make glorious things happen. Crew are offered that chance themselves. I'm very much looking to see how they deal with it. Certainly will do. What a fabulous evening we've been treated to throughout the two semi-finals, grand final, a tiebreaker, but it's been the entire split. And a huge thank you for Sam, E General, Sionix, for inviting into us into the region here at the rocket the entire crew is entirely grateful for the chance and the opportunity and hope you have enjoyed the english commentary that will also be on youtube mina will have its its turn on this channel for day three in a week's time but from all of us here it's a heartfelt good night spread the love